Hello and welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Ben Luning, I'm the master taster of whiskey.com, and this is Horst Luning, the senior whiskey taster of whiskey.com. And today we have a very special bottling from Artbag. But it's not the yearly bottle, but a special, special bottling, I yeah. think. So yes. What I've read was that there will be some, yeah, some sequence of special bottlings uh, which come out, which are a little bit older than the normal ones, where they have uh, laid the cask aside to mature a little bit longer. And this is the first of this series, 13 years old, mm -hmm. called Artbeck Anthology. It's the typical 46% ABV and the finishing of this ex bourbon cask whiskey was done in Sautern wine cask. Sautern, this is a, a white wine, a sweet white wine from Bordeaux, from France. And uh, Artbag belongs to a company called Louis Vuitton More Hennessy. Mm -hmm. And they own the very, very extremely famous Chateau called Jacques Dicam, and I do not know it, and never, nobody told me, but I estimate that those uh, casts are from Jacques uh, Dicam. <laughs> from Jacques Dicam, yeah. Yeah. So this is the story of the uh, ingredient of this bottle. Yeah. But and the marketing, let, let me do the marketing, <laughs> yeah. the harpy's tail. And here, as I already shown you a little bit, here we have the harpy. And the harpy is a, uh, yeah, a mythological creature, half eagle and half human. Usually they are portrayed like uh, females and they are like kind of like witches and my magical powers or like adopt chill uh, and abduct children or like yeah take children away <laughs> mm -hmm. and eat them all i don't know yeah um, and uh, <laughs> and here so it's it's an eagle with a human head yes yeah and here you can see the the small uh, terrier <laughs> yeah How shorty 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 the third trying to to <laughs> rescue uh, uh the towel from 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 the drying line yeah, so funny and uh, the, how do they say, Dugger, the head warehouse man and a novice ornithologist lays claim to the rares of encounters whilst tracking down the supposedly winked culprit of an undergarment theft. So, uh, so undergarment, yeah, undergarment. Not yeah, not so, tall, so I guess the, the story originated from like a woman who's like, oh my God, my undergarment flew away. That must have been a harpy. And <laughs> yeah, it's actually a mythology that a harpy lives on Isla. So they, they picked it up and <laughs> uh, it looks quite nice. It's quite a nice story. So, <laughs> and a 13 year old. Uh, That's I'm quite a lot more than that is quite the 10 year. Yeah. It's more than a 10 year and, and it's a special bottling with an age statement from uh, from Artbeck, so that's always quite good. Oh God, I saw a harpy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so the, the, the distillery was closed until 89, so that is 11 years to... That's, okay, it's far away from, from 13. <laughs> it's like, what is that like? 34 or something we uh, open 34 years 40, yeah, yeah something like that so we, we've seen already a 25 year old art bag yeah from so yeah. the first years after the closure um the supplies were very very low and then the distillery was sold and in 1990 the first 10 year old appeared on the market mm -hmm. and then uh, volume grew and uh yeah, so the 25 year old is actual the limit yeah Ooh. Mm. Yeah, very, very typical art bag. Mm -hmm. So the smokiness is very art bag style. Hefty, strong. And it takes quite a while to it <laughs> to smell something different than smoke. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of fruitiness comes through, a little bit of a citrus note 
And then it's officially said, sweet Briere wood, whatever Briere is. <laughs> Never heard that. It, it goes to next, to, next to, to the to shop decamp. <laughs> <laughs> to look it up. Yeah. So uh, a lot of smoke in there, as you, you remember from all the art bags. Uh, but for me, it, it does have a, a good amount of spiciness. And I would have said oak, <laughs> but uh, it, it might be a, a special kind of wood. But it's, it has a, a good amount of strength. And I would say all of these brown flavors like uh, spices and uh, oaks and all that kind of stuff. So you, maybe you, you've got a lot more than, than no. I do. I don't have any of these uh, citrus character type of... This is quite a heavy uh, art bag, I would say. Heavy, yeah. But I have this, this lightly cooling influence. I, would, I don't know. Is this Sultan? Is that like a, a heavy red wine? This is a white wine. A white wine? <laughs> a sweet fortified wine, which is... Capticized, it's called. So they add crystal sugar. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is so it's a really, a really sweet white uh, fortified wine. Yeah. Okay. So I Didn't think, expect that. <laughs> I think when we start to, to taste it, we will find that. Okay. Yeah. Probably the taste will be a lot different. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Typical oiliness, light sweetness, and then kicking in real hefty uh, smokiness covering my mouth. So there's no other whiskey behind this we will taste today. Mm -hmm. This is definitely over. And now there's this light cooling effect like the like eucalyptus uh, or a little bit any seed no no eucalyptus yeah mm -hmm. and sweetness is there but i'm not able to to distinguish the sweetness which is typically there in an art bag empty your glass with an art bag let it rest uh, on your table until next morning then it will be dry and then smell on the glass and you have sweetness a lot of sweetness and all these lighter smokiness will be gone it will be sweet and here it combines with the sweetness of the jack de Chem. no it's not official with the sauterne <laughs> wine cast <laughs> influence and uh, i'm not able to figure it out if it's distillery character or the finishing mm -hmm. it does have a sweet note to it when you put it in your mouth you have a sweet note i have it front of my tongue uh, but a lot of Spiciness. I think you already said eucalyptus. I do have some like, um, what's it called? Um, cloves, um, um, cardamom, all these kind of uh, spices I have really in there. For me also a lot of oak in there, a lot of smokiness. That smokiness is pretty hefty. So yeah. it makes it a mm -hmm. bit more, yeah, it makes it a bit difficult to get behind it. So you feel there is more to it. So I would say in a in a longer session, you might get a lot more out of this glass. Yeah. Yeah. So when you get used to the smoke and uh, you feel more inside what the whiskey also has to offer, probably also more of the fruitiness and more of the um, the sauterne casks. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Have a look at whiskey.com in mm. our shop system for our, our customers from the Netherlands. Uh, in the moment we are taking this video quite early, there is no pricing yet. So yeah. whenever you find this video, have a look at the shop and you see yeah. the price immediately. Yeah, what is what I find nice is this is the Artbeck Anthology 13 years, the Harpy's Tale. This is the first edition of the Artbeck's Anthology collection, as it says here in the last sentence. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> three or four, isn't it? I don't know how, if they have planned already how many they, they will come out, but it will be a series or collection as they say mm -hmm. yeah so yeah as you said have a look at whiskey.com you'll find the price there thank you very much for watching and see you next time